I'm Dane Bush. I'm here in Africa with Brendan and Boschnell Safaris. We're here to take a sable and warhog maybe, blue wildebeest, impala. We'll see what else pops up. And yeah, we're gonna use the 300. This is a short mag, wind mag. This is a wind mag, I think. And yeah, we're gonna fire a couple rounds down range and make sure that the rifle's still good to go. Height's perfect, you're gonna be dead on at 200. Those bullets are quite deadly. So whatever you point the rifle at, you're right. probably gonna die. Typically, I'm gonna throw up the sticks, just like this. Come from my right, put the rifle in the front, kick this out behind the pistol grip. There we go. And then lean into the sticks. Okay. You can lean forward more. It's gonna have to. Yeah. If you want to adjust left or right, take your left hand, grab it over here, yep. push forward or pull back. That's a lot of shit to shoot through. Yeah.
trying to reposition my feet here. All right. find a way through <laughs> all of this. Want me to poke him? Hey. Want me to poke him? It's your animal, man. Poke. Dead. Dead. Well done, Dane. Fuck yeah. He's twitching. That's what you came here for. Yeah, buddy. Congratulations, my friend. It's beautiful. First afternoon success. That's why Dane came to Africa. Big old sable bull. Yeah. Still got my airport shirt on. <laughs> Fantastic. It's pretty awesome. All right, pick up his, his head. Holy shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. I think it's huge. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's not the originally the one I came for, but I love it. It's so much bigger in person. That's cool. Freaking things are huge. Oh yeah. Let's see where I hit him, because I felt right. like it. Right. Textbook shot. Oh, okay, good. Perfect. Well, Dane, we made it to uh, to camp around lunchtime, mm -hmm. and. Um, Dane set out 10 days on his safari and uh, not a long list but a good list for first time first time African trip and uh, pretty much number one on the list was a big beautiful sable and uh, well needless to say as you as you could see in the, in the actual hunting hunting video um, we got it done pretty quickly 
like I said, I've still got my, my airport shirt on. <laughs> and um, this is what you came here for. Yeah. I didn't expect to drop it so quick, but now we have plenty of time to hunt some more stuff. Yep. Get all get down on foot and chase yep. after whatever we want to chase after. Yep. And uh, like we've been saying, take what the bush gives us. Yeah. Um, bush gave us a nice one. The bush gave us a nice one today. We definitely, definitely ended up on top on this one. Mm -hmm. The old 300 wind mag definitely did the trick. Yeah, it did. Uh, <laughs> it dropped. <laughs> Sable are pretty tough critters and they're, they're known to run quite a bit. But uh, old boy went down straight in his tracks. Very thankful for that. Didn't want to give us a shot. <laughs> no, no. It was, a, it was a game of musical chairs. It was. But, uh, musical, musical bipod. <laughs> yeah. Sun is setting, so obviously we've still got a lot of work to do. There's no roads nearby, so it's going to be a pack out. But um, yeah. Big thank you, uh, those hand loads definitely did yeah, the trick. Yeah, I did. 180 grain Viper bullets, plain supreme, phenomenal bullets. Hoping we can recover one and see see what they look like. Yeah, I nervous. I was nervous when I pulled the trigger. I thought I twitched a little bit, but it went Proof right down. In the pudding, huh? Yeah. Good first day now. Yeah. Dane's first blood in Africa, as we typically <laughs> do over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you wanna know what? Open up. <laughs> chunky blood. Chunky, chunky. <laughs> tastes like, uh, tastes like old pudding. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. The balls, I don't know about the balls. Get to that later. Huh? Understand why the old hunters who ventured to Africa just couldn't pass up on Sable. I mean, kudu are magnificent, just elegant animals. But look at those big black bodied creatures with those big old horns. He's the one completely to the left. Behind the bush. He just stepped out. Yeah. What? Can you see his shoulder? Yeah, barely. Punch it through there. Why'd you pull your shot so much? I told you I could barely see his shoulder. Pretty old. Put put some uh, put your hands on him. It's your animal. Yeah. 
Do it right out the other shoulder. Yeah, straight through. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so we're about to pack up and leave. And we look over and we saw some spring buck and we thought they were all, they were all females. And then this guy popped out and I guess you said you've been trying to take him out of the breeding yeah. situation for a while. So this is, you know, not, not my target, but he's uh doesn't have the greatest genes, so we took him out of the gene pool and he'll make a nice hero. Yep. Listen, smell smell his ass real quick. Do I have to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh actually I've seen this. Yeah. It smells sweet or something? Yeah, but not not the ass, like legitimately it's the ass. Bland, flip right? flip him on his belly. Flip yeah. him on his belly. On his belly, yeah. <sighs> Open up the hair, yeah, in the back where you see it right it opened up a little bit forward. Right there. Oh, Open yeah. that up. Open that up. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Smell that. Smell that. Huh. That's different. <laughs> what does it smell like? I don't know. All of them smell slightly different. Yeah. But typically, people people compare to honey, vanilla, vanilla co cotton yeah, candy. Vanilla, yeah. So obviously, we uh, we started our morning with a little bit of a stroll, um, scenic route. I wasn't actually planning on shooting anything with Dane. Just need to keep him busy. But I mean, needless to say, after we got slightly lost, ran out of gas, started drinking, out pops a management spring bucket. And obviously, what do you do? So Dane put on a cracker shot once again. 180 grain uh, Viper bullets, the Plain Supreme uh, spring buck aren't your biggest animal. So obviously, choo, clean through. And I think he shot like three other spring buck behind it, but it's perfectly fine. We got the job done. Thank you. That a boy. Heavy, heavy, heavy.
the good old days. Sorry. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at this. Well done, Dane. Like I said, we don't want to jinx it. Right. And shake hands before you put hands on a on a big old blue wildebeest. Perfect shot. On the shoulder. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can you put it in behind the shoulder? Yeah. Okay, on the shoulder, wait. Now I'm going through some shit. Just follow him, follow him. Yep. He's in the open. On the shoulder. Got him. He's on the far left. Yeah, far left. You shot his guts out, man. Hit him again, hit him again. Far left. Yeah, you, sh you got him. Spine him, reload. Hit him again, hit him again. Same spot. Okay, well, we just got back and uh, uh, as you can see we went out for one impala and came back with two. There's officially something in the water that I'm calling it May Madness because this is the third time this has happened in this month. We just decided that if we shoot at something and it walks behind the bush we're done. We call it a day and we'll come back in like a few days time and go look for that animal that died off somewhere. But um, yeah, we shot um, we shot at a good Impala, which is which is this one, and uh, Dane was a phenomenal shot, apparently. You know, <laughs> he shot both of them up the ass, one into the guts. So obviously tomorrow morning we're gonna we're gonna check the rifle real quick. It was a bumpy road, so I, I reckon maybe we we hit the site somewhere. It does explain possibly Pass, I hope so. the baboon shot, you know, definitely, because definitely that's going to get him out of a few penalty shots. But um, yeah, it's been a busy day. <laughs> it's adding up now. It's been a busy day, but thankfully we've got our Impala out of the way. Beautiful area. So uh, hopefully we can head back and go look for some more talks again. But otherwise, not a bad day now.
Well, uh, yesterday we had a little bit of a balls up. I think we did speak about it last night while we were at the, the skinning shed. Um, two Impala and uh, I wouldn't say it was the perfect shots, but... They were perfect shots. <laughs> our Impala did die eventually, thanks to some pretty good bullets and of course shooting God's caliber, 300 wind mag. Uh, but Dane swore high and low the gun is out 100 percent i did not <laughs> and i specifically remember somebody saying oh 100 to 200 yards that's a crack shot i will happily take five penalty shots if i miss anything yep. I said, dane count your words and he repeated it looks like, like sheldon's gonna have five penalty shots <laughs> for running his mouth <laughs> <laughs> boldly so uh, we'll head down range in a little bit and then just quickly show that the 300 wind mag was indeed not off and uh, somebody was just a pretty much of a shitty shot yesterday. Yeah, so. yes, she was bad. So I reckon tonight in the new bar, when we, when we have uh, the bar warming party, somebody is up to seven shots now. Yeah, and the there was a tornado. <laughs> the sun was in my eyes. The day has yet to start, so I'm pretty sure we're going to get Dane up to 10. It might be a long night for you. With your rules, I'll be up to 15. <laughs> Straight through, he's down. Okay, come on. Quickly flip him, flip him. I hope we're not too late. Yeah, man. Too late for what? No, he's, it's still gonna happen. It's still gonna happen. You'll see now. Just put that leg in, please. Perfect. All right. I can sit here. The, those here are going to stand up now. Yeah. yeah. Underneath his head. There we go. Hold it. There it comes. There it comes. There it comes, there it comes. Tilt the head over that way, Dane. No, just, yeah, yeah. Come on, almost there. That might be what we're gonna get. What a beautiful show. Oh yeah, look at him open up now. Okay, Dane, get in there, smell it real quick. Smell it, get in there, get in there. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. A little bit of a better shot. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. Fantastic blackmail. Well, Dane, little morning stalk and uh, chasing after these little critters are not the easiest of tasks, but... Uh, I'm surprised we got close enough, or that close, I should say. Oh, well, actually, it was you that spotted um, one of the younger animals and the yeah. females. And then I just got lucky. I, I spotted him through some thick stuff. Yeah, I didn't even see him. 
but um, <laughs> patiently waiting and uh, hopefully well we hope that we hope that he stepped out and give us an opportunity and a quick little whistle stopped him in his tracks but sure these uh these are one of the tinier animals in africa to chase after and to do it in between this scrub bush the calmfa bush um that's pretty pretty renowned in the northern cape in the free state it's not one of the easiest animals to chase after but uh 300 wind got it done let me just adjust this head real quick so yeah that is the official start to your springbok slam yep and uh, we still got to chase the common yep we were after after common yeah and he stepped out we just couldn't say no it'd yep. be beautiful we don't pass up on an animal like this yeah good job babe thank you Reload, 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 reload. Come again. I don't see him. Uh, He's kicking up the dust. I just shot into the grass. I can't really see him. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. I'm going to try to see Well, Dane, one of Africa's most common proved to be one of the most difficult to actually connect on. Yeah. We spend a little bit of time out here, and um, obviously with us being up in the mountains, we, we do not have the terrain for uh, for war talks. However, whew, the flies are driving me nuts. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> However, we, we traveled down into the valley close to the the Vol River where the orange and the Vol, uh, Vol meet <coughs> excuse me um, and eventually we saw a couple of pigs but they took off like pigs typically do and shortly after that we got another opportunity on a, on a couple of running pigs and this old female got, uh, stopped and gave us a little bit of an opportunity um, very thankful that she did uh, as you can see, she's she's quite seasoned, but uh, beautiful little tusks. Sooner or later, we are going to target a big male. But for now, this is what the what the bush gave us. Yep. And you got to take what the bush gives you. Quick little shot uh, with a 300 wind mag, and uh, all it took was one shot, and she was done. Unlike the impala. <laughs> Unlike the impala. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful valley, beautiful beautiful red dirt, and uh, lots of water sign. We've just not been all that lucky with the war talk up until now. Good job. Thank you. Now he's the one facing to the right. Yeah. Okay, on. Oh, wait. In the chest. Facing left. Do you have a bullet in there? Facing left, wait. There's too much going on behind. Now he's the one on the right. The one furthest from us. The one's walking straight. Yeah. Now he's off to the right. 
He's sick and from that mighty chase that other one away now. Get him again. He's doing one lumping. I will see which one's lumping. Nice, yeah, okay. Yeah. Wait, 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 don't shoot the yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the other one in front of him, too. Stick on. S3. Yeah. Is the one furthest to the left? Is S3? Is the one furthest to the left? We'll have to get two together, right? Yeah. Okay. Happened again, didn't it? No. Oh, what? Now he's dead. That's why he's hitting fuck. So what? He ran down in the valley. Oh. Exceptional, exceptional Man. animal. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. you can put hands on him first. What you looking for, Donnie? What I was looking for. Yeah. Such a weird looking horse of an animal. Yep. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a nice one. Huh? Yeah, yep, yeah, that's what I was looking for. I don't know if the one we saw yesterday flared out like this. It did. It did? Yeah. That's that's why you said you liked it so yeah. much. I was looking for something similar. Yeah. Like that stripe across his face. Yep. Beautiful. All right.
actual stalk. I, oh. I still haven't even seen his head. <laughs> well done, Dane. You just opened up your tiny team. Yes, sir. That was a lot louder than normal. It's in this brush. Yeah, we're well, we're also kind of like in a hole here. Yeah. It's not everybody gets the opportunity to walk and stalk Diker. No. Typically, it's done off of the truck really fast, or it's an opportunistic animal. It's because it's because your freaking eyeball. I never would have seen that. It's just one one leg sticking out of a bush. Accidentally saw him. Yeah. No. Oh. You're a pro. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't even seen his head. <laughs> Say there are trophy dikers. Not that big, right? No. Anything over three inches typically is considered a, yeah. a trophy. I mean, Roland Ward minimum is four inches. So you're talking about an inch yeah. of grace between what's considered a trophy and what's considered an extraordinary trophy. Right. Oh yeah. That's nice. Nice. Well, we were uh, out stalking Bless Buck, and once again, it turned into a, a different kind of hunt. Um, Brendan ended up seeing this really nice diker. There's legs sticking out of a bush. And uh, I told Brendan earlier, if I saw something in a tiny 10, I wouldn't mind shooting it. So we took this one and it turns out it's actually a really old female with male parts, which is super cool. It makes it so much better of a trophy. Her head's gonna blow over. But uh, this is the first gut shot I was supposed to make <laughs> instead of accidentally make. And uh, yeah, we dropped her. I mean, 300 is kind of a lot for this animal, but I imagine if we hit her in the shoulders, there wouldn't be much left. But yeah, super happy about this diker. I didn't know if I'd get one or not. We weren't really going for them. We were more so just if we stumbled upon one, and we sure stumbled upon one. So yeah, another one down, added to the list. Well, Dane, it is management animal number two for you. Yes, sir. This this trip, um, I think it boils back down to we are all trying to offer trophy hunts, of course, but when we spotted this old female um, black wildebeest. It was clear that she was pretty seasoned. She was limping pretty hard as well. She wasn't going anywhere very fast. And uh, the harsh winter has yet to set in. So knowing that the odds of her making it through the winter was pretty pretty slim, uh, Dane actually made a call and asked me if it was possible to take her. And um, yeah, a species that was on the brink of extinction and due to wildlife management, hunters dollars, they came back swinging very hard and uh, now they are found in abundance in provinces like here, the Northern Cape, the Free State and the Eastern Cape and even seeing some in the Limpopo province. But uh, yeah, pretty good shot, frontal shot. I see there's no exit wounds so hopefully we can recover one of the bullets, see what they look like. But uh, for once, Dane made a perfect shot. <laughs> Gotta get one once in a while.
yep, you will have to compensate for the wind. My brother says you can see a proper springbok approaching. That, oh, it's another normal one. But there's another one stepping out. That, the way that springbok is standing right now, you have to aim right between his eyes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You see him? Yep. Let him just clear that little bush that's in front of you. For it's up to you, Dan. He's definitely a shooter. And he turned back around. There's a copper one in the back. You see him? Let the front one just clear him. Need a little bit more clearance for the wind. All right, do you see that hump above his shoulders? There's a black hump. Okay, wait. Whenever you are ready, mm -hmm. just compensate about half a foot for the wind. Not the spine, right? On the spine, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. You got him. Oh yeah. Oh. He's dead. Mm -hmm. There comes the hay though. We gotta be very careful now. Let's turn him around. That side's a bloody mess. Perfect shot. Perfect hard shot. Perfect. Okay. Next one. Well, it's our uh, last day on safari. We, uh, what did we go out for earlier? Oh, Blaze book. that bus buck still. Still no bus buck. He, uh, they keep evading us. But uh, we decided to come out after lunch and just really no plan. Just kind of drive around, see what we saw, make a decision then. And we came upon more bus buck, black wildebeest, and the spring bucks. And uh, luckily, I did like this copper one. He's super nice. Really, really nice. These guys are going to be sad to see him go. <laughs> but uh, super windy. It was about 200 and... 260. 260, 260 yards. Super windy. Now, I haven't really made too many shots compensating for that kind of wind. Brendan told me right where to hold. Squeeze, heart shot, done. And I'm, I couldn't be happier. This is a beautiful, beautiful copper spring bug. Now I got two more to go. <laughs> Phenomenal hunt. Thank you, Dane. Thank you for trusting us. Thank you. Obviously, I'm a firm believer in good premium bullets and ob uh, obviously we tend to lean towards the more lethal stuff and uh, granted Springbuck's not the biggest animal in the woods, but it is it is something worthwhile to share what we are looking at. We are using the Viper Plane Supreme 180 grain bullets out of uh, 300 wind mag. I think the last loads average around 2920 feet per second, but on impact behind the shoulder shot of a, of a very, very good large bodied copper spring buck. Have a look at this.
Well, I lied earlier about being the end of the safari. This is the end of the safari. I decided to take a coal uh, blue wildebeest. Uh, I needed a nice rug for my man cave. And a little, little bit sad knowing it's the end of my safari, but I'm definitely gonna be back. And I'm super happy, had a great time with Bosch Nell Safaris.